my name's my name's Peter Hans, and I'll be bringing you uh, all information about food in this program. This is just a take to give you an idea what the light will look like, the camera will work like. So don't worry about the gaffes. Um, all right. So this is one section of how we're going. To, we could do it. We could film it against this this wall here. Um, the the bench itself. Have you got the bench there, by the way? And uh, the bench itself, we, the cooking bench we have, which you'll probably see when I'll give you some other shots of the of the uh, filming we have done already. The bench is a bit higher. It's about that high. So this is just a, a table I've put here just to give you an idea of roughly about a bench, but normally it'll be about that height through here. And um, how's that shot with the food looking? Got that? Okay. So we just put a just sprawled out a few things here just to give you an idea to see how it would look on the film and see if it comes up okay in the camera. So that's pretty much all I think we need to do. Hands explain. All right. Okay. This is just an idea to see how it would look if I'm explaining something. We've got some vegetables over here. Uh, some carrots, leeks, bok choy, and some corn here, just to give you contrast with colour. Uh, we've got some rice over here. You can see that coming down. Some legumes, sunflower seeds, some packets of different products, soy products, tempeh and tofu. We've got, um, this is some daikon um, pickles. Azuki beans over here. Going too fast, slow. Just to give you an idea of a, a um, earthenware pot. Some sea vegetables here, wakame and kombu. And of course, nori, which you use in sushi rolls and things like that. Uh, we've got some plums, plum vinegar and some tamari. Some mirin, which is a golden light color, which is a, uh, a light, it's actually almost close to a rice wine. And then we've got some uh, toasted sesame oil there. And we've got a jar there of some buckwheat. Just to give an idea of how it would look, you know, I didn't put everything out, just to give an idea how it would look on a camera. And uh, thank you for that. <laughs> okay, now one thing about the lighting, we've got some redhead lights here. And uh, instead of do doing them directly on me, they're actually being bounced off the wall. So if you could give us some feedback on that, how that looks with the lighting there. Uh, of course, I've got no makeup on, which I'm supposed to have, which I will we'll do in the real shoots. But did you want to put the light down to give an idea how it would look straight on? We'll put one of the red heads down straight on me and just see how that would look. That would bring a bit, fair bit more light in. Oh, a bit too hot, is it? Yeah, it brings a, f a fair bit more light on. So maybe we'll leave that there, Adrian, just to give an idea of how that would look. Is that a bit too bright? Very bright. Very bright. Yeah, very uh, bright. But just to give an idea of how it would look with direct light on here, um, just to compare it, because I think that would give them an idea. I've just adjusted the exposure. So mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'll move it back the other way. Yeah, move it back out of the way. Watch, the, watch this pretty hot. Booms. Yeah. And that's just one section. We, is this taping, by the way? Oop. Oop. Is this taping, by the way? Yes, it is. All right. Uh, this is just one wall we're looking at. We could we could use now, um, Adrian. If you wanted to scan across a bit, because the bench we're going to use is a lot wider. It's got a stove on it as well, which you'll see in some of the other uh, outdoor f footage we did earlier on a couple of months ago. So I'll show you that. But we can put petitions against either side of the uh, of the wall here. This petition here. So anything that you think that would would help, that would be appreciated. I think that's pretty much it, really. They have an idea, and um, and please get back to us if that is okay. Thank you. Welcome to. Is it wrong? Okay. Welcome to take two, set two, of uh, how and why. Um, we're looking at maybe doing filming against this backdrop. It's a bit wider and um, easy to move around. Just giving a couple of set ideas that we could do that are inside. We're going to be doing some interviews outside, of course, to incorporate in the program. There'll be other locations we'll be shooting from, of course, as well. 
but what we're trying to do here now is just get an idea of what we can do with the main set to, just to get the series on the road. Okay, we've uh, we've got, as I said, we've got the uh, light. I noticed that the light, perhaps maybe not much on the food. Is it coming up okay? Yeah, coming All right. So get some feedback. Just put a few selections out here just to give an idea of what the contrast would be with colours and different products. And, and with the background we've got here, of course, the bench, it's a little bit low. I should really be, this is what's going to be more like, like that. The bench is probably going to be about that high or, that, or no higher than probably the top of this, this, uh, this lid here. You'll see it. We're going to send down some um, footage of what we did a couple of months ago outside. And even if the lighting's not right, you get an idea of what the bench looks like and what some cooking is, is looking like as well when we do it, because there's a stove on the left-hand side here, or which will be your right-hand side. So again, we've got some products here, just giving an idea with the lighting. The lighting is bouncing off the wall, um, just to see if you think this is adequate for the for the um, for the um, for, for being on the channel and for uh, the video and uh, audience out in Melbourne. And I forgot what I was going to say, but never mind. So we've got colours, different colours here against the white backdrop. We can put a different backdrop down if you prefer. Just giving an idea, just to see how this camera looks like. Of course, the same aspect goes with the lighting. If the lighting was more direct on me, do you think we should do that again, or just to get an idea? Might not get it back up again. Okay, we'll see how we go. We've just got a wingnut problem with some of the lights at the moment. We need to just, uh, these redheads are, when they run hot, the wing nut gets a bit loose. But that's uh, here. That's a bit of a closer look. Just one might be enough, but if you want to put both, yeah, it gets a bit more of a brighter look. Just to get your feedback on how it may look when we're doing the um, actual shooting. Uh, because any feedback we can get right now, the better. And see what you think of the camera. See if the camera t is taking it well enough. The sound is coming across okay. And uh, we'll be looking forward to getting started, getting some regular filming down. So uh, I think I've covered everything. I'm not sure. Is there anything else we need to cover? And that's it. So thanks for uh, viewing it. And we look forward to your uh, any feedback on how we can improve this so we can get the show on the road. Thank you. Okay. Forgot about the close-ups. So let's look at some close-ups. Do you need to get close up, Adrian, or you can do or vegetables for you? Okay, give an idea of what it would look like. Shot, of course, we've got plastic over that. We're just putting it together just to give an idea. Um, we've got some grains here. We have some, of course, some sesame seeds here. Uh, not sesame, uh, sunflower seeds. Some rice. And we've got some legumes over here, some sea vegetables over here. And of course, we've got our different bottles, tamari, mirin, uh, umeboshi plum vinegar, and, some, and there's a pot here, earthenware pot. Just to give an idea. Now, the, of course, the, the actual bench we've got for the filming is a, a sky bluey gray color. And uh, that's all right, good message there. And of course, it's gonna be about that high and we've got, of course, it's a lot wider and it has a, has a, a, a um, stove there. We'll show you some footage that we did already with that bench anyway on the outside. So I think that's pretty much it, isn't it, Adrian? Okay, we're getting back to the lighting. Actually, it feels a bit dark now in front of my eyes. <laughs> so um, how's that looking? Okay. Just to uh, try different settings. But this is just another idea. So we've given you two options for the set and see what you think. We could do it from the kitchen when I did the, uh, which is just around the corner back here, where we, what I did for the pilot episode. But I think probably having it in a, just a pretty open location is probably better. But uh, any, any feedback would be really appreciated, really, because we'd... Uh, like to know if we can just get some regular shots here and get put it all together and, and send some down. A close up? Okay. 
This is just a close-up view to see what I look like in close-up. I haven't got any makeup on, but I'll, I'll be having some makeup when we do the series, of course. But this, this is just to get an idea how the camera would take me um, and if it would be suitable for, for viewing. So um, we forgot to put that in, so I just thought we'd do that now. And of course, the backdrop, it, we've noticed, we just had a bit of a quick look, review on it. We noticed the backdrop is a bit white. We can put a green material behind it and change it later if you like or any suggestion you've got would be great so we look forward to you getting back to us and letting us know so thanks a lot